Are you struggling with a kapha dosha imbalance? In this video, I'll recommend 10 foods that are great for balancing kapha dosha. Hi, this is Livia with Healthy, Happy and Wise, bringing you the latest Ayurvedic diet and lifestyle tips. Kapha dosha is cold, heavy, oily and slow. So if you want to balance kapha, you have to follow a diet that emphasizes foods that are warm, dry and cooked and include the pungent, bitter and astringent tastes. In addition, you need to avoid cold, raw, oily, sweet and salty foods because they increase kapha. So without further ado, these are my 10 favorite foods for balancing kapha. Number 10 on the list are dried fruits. Kapha doesn't need much of the sweet taste because it can lead to weight gain. However, dried fruits can provide the sweet taste without creating imbalance. And kapha can tolerate dry fruits, unlike water. Raisins, prunes, dried apricots and berries can be great as a snack or dessert for those who need to decrease their kapha. With the exception of dates, most dried fruits will be suitable for kapha. But don't overdo them. Consume them in moderation. At number 9, I have raw honey. You might be surprised to see a sweetener on this list, but honey is the only sweetener recommended for kapha. Most sweeteners are heavy, cooling and oily, which explains why they increase kapha and lead to weight gain. Raw honey, on the other hand, is heating, drying, and has the ability to scrape toxins and fats from the body. Honey also supports digestion, which is helpful for kapha, whose digestion can be sluggish. Honey is also energizing, which is again good news for kapha, since kapha can be on the sluggish side. Honey also has numerous medicinal qualities. It supports heart health and is good for the respiratory organs. A great way to use honey to balance kapha is to have a glass of warm water in the morning with honey and lemon juice. It will help with detoxification and fat burning. Number eight on the list is hot tea. This is the best drink for kapha. Even hot water is beneficial because it helps remove ama, the accumulated toxins in the body, which can be a problem with the kapha dosha imbalance. In addition, the warmth of the drink will balance the cold quality of kapha and also support digestion. Cold drinks, on the other hand, will kill the digestive fire, which can already be low for people with increased kapha. A good tea for kapha would be a spicy tea. The brand Yogi Tea has some really nice flavors, but you can also make your own by mixing ginger, cinnamon, cloves and cardamom. What kind of tea you'll consume depends on your taste. Herbal teas are excellent and even green or black tea is okay if consumed in moderation. Kapha is the only dosha that doesn't get aggravated by caffeine and it can even use the stimulating effect of caffeine because it tends to be sluggish, especially in the morning. At number seven on the list of kapha balancing foods, I have a spicy vegetable soup. This is an ideal dinner for kapha. It is light, warm and easy to digest. Make sure not to use too much oil in the cooking. Most vegetables are okay for kapha, so you don't need to worry about the ingredients. Use what you like and what's in season. Potatoes are probably the only ones kapha should really avoid because they're really heavy. Adding warming spices such as cumin, pepper, mustard seeds or curry powder will add to the kapha balancing qualities of the soup. You can also add some lentils or peas if you're very hungry. But in general, kapha should eat a light dinner to avoid weight gain. At number 6, I have stewed apples as the best breakfast for kapha. Apples are astringent and light and one of the best foods for kapha. Pears are also very good as they are astringent, sweet and dry. 
While raw fruits are suitable for kapha, eating stewed apples or pears add a number of benefits. Stewed fruit is easier to digest. A stewed apple or pear in the morning stimulates digestion, which is especially good for kapha dosha. A heavy breakfast would have the opposite effect of reducing the digestive fire and contributing to weight gain. In addition, stewed apples stimulate the detoxification of the liver, promote elimination and support the gut microbiome. Check out our video on how to make stewed apples. Number 5 on the list is a kapha balancing spice mix. Because kapha's digestion tends to be slow, spices are a great way to support it. Kapha can enjoy all spices, even the hot ones such as chili peppers. Most spices are pungent, bitter and astringent, so this makes sense. The only spice kapha dosha should use in moderation is salt, because too much salt can lead to water retention. You can make up a spice mix from your favorite spices, or check out our video on how to make a kapha spice mix. At number 4, we have legumes. All beans and lentils are suitable for kapha dosha because they are predominantly dry and astringent. The only exception are soy products, which increase kapha, too difficult to digest, and clog the channels of the body. Split mung dal is the easiest to digest and is good for all doshas. It is also quick to cook. Legumes are a good source of protein for kapha, who don't need as much protein as vata and pitta people. In addition, kapha doesn't do well with most animal protein because they are mostly oily and heavy. Number three on the list is fresh ginger. Fresh ginger is one of my favorite spices to increase digestion, and it's a good friend of kapha. Fresh ginger is pungent and heating and can be used in so many ways. I like to make a digestive ginger pickle, which includes sliced ginger, lemon or lime juice, and a few pinches of salt. You can make a small batch and store it in the fridge for a few days. Before each meal, have a slice of pickle ginger to get your digestion going. Fresh shredded ginger can also be added to any meal. I also like ginger tea with some lemon and honey, which is a nice kapha balancing drink. At number two, I have leafy green vegetables. Leafy green vegetables are most often astringent, bitter, light and dry, making them an ideal food for kapha. Spinach, chard, colored greens are all great. Mustard greens add the flavor of pungency, which is also beneficial for kapha. If you have access to Asian greens, they also come in a great variety of flavors. However, Raw greens and vegetables are not good for kapha. It's best to saute or steam them and eat them warm to support kapha's digestion. Leafy greens are also excellent detoxifying foods, which benefits kapha's because they tend to accumulate toxins due to their slow digestion. Leafy greens also support the liver and the production of bile, which helps break down fats. And finally, at the number one place, I have cruciferous vegetables. These are vegetables in the cabbage family, including kale, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, radish, and turnip. Now, there is some overlap between leafy greens and cruciferous vegetables, but I put them into two different groups to make sure you don't miss any of them. Vegetables in the cabbage family are predominantly astringent, dry, and rough. Some, like radishes, are also pungent. These qualities all support kapha. Cruciferous vegetables are also very high in minerals, vitamins, and other micronutrients. Just like with leafy greens, it's best to cook these vegetables. They also provide plenty of fiber to support elimination. So these are the 10 best foods I think are the best to balance kapha dosha. They are light, dry, rough, and contain the pungent, bitter, and astringent tastes. Make sure to eat them warm if you are kapha. You can favor these foods if you have a kapha imbalance or in the spring when kapha dosha dominates and we all feel more sluggish than usual. 
I would be interested to know what your favorite food is to balance kapha. Let us know in the comments. Remember to check out healthyhappyandwise.com to learn more about the Ayurvedic lifestyle and diet. If there are any topics you're interested in, let us know in the comments and we will consider it for a video. If you like this video, remember to give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, make sure to hit the subscribe button on this page to get more free videos. Also click on the notifications button so you don't miss any of our videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.